turns one and two. Looks like everybody has cleared the speedway and we'll go racing this time by Zach Olivier and Ron Prince. Row number one, Elijah Zevenbergen. And Kevin DeBeer in row number two, ready to bring us to green this time by seven cars, eight laps, heat one for the Holly Ironman stock cars. Seventy-one of Olivier, though, showing the way. Zevenbergen going to take a look to the back bumper of him. Down the front straight away. It'll continue to be the seventy-one of Olivier. Olivier still your race hitter side by side now. Ron Prince taking a look down to the bottom. In the 0-2 car, Zevenbergen to the cushion. Prince down to the bottom side by side for a second here behind Olivier in seventy-one. Straight away, Zach Olivier continues to lead Zevenbergen hanging on to that second spot in 66. The 0-2 of Prince still in that third spot. Good battle behind him, but so far the best battle on the racetracks for second. Zevenbergen with smoke billowing out of the right rear of that 66 as that left front has not touched the ground. Zevenbergen and Prince still good battle. There goes Prince down to the bottom of the racetrack. One more time, Ron. Prince trying to take second. Prince in 02, Zevenbergen in 66. Door to door down the front straight away. Elijah going to hang on to it in 66. Prince and Zevenbergen still side by side as the white flag will fly for your race leader. Zach Olivier in 71. Straight away, Olivier's all alone so far, looking good. A straightaway advantage. He'll come to the checkered. Zach Olivier will win it in 71. Heat race number one, a good one for the stock cars. Third will go to Elijah Zevenbergen in 66. Ron Prince will come home second in 02. And picking up the win, he led the whole thing on a Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Give him a hand to 71. Zach Olivier wins it. He's on the pole. Jesse Brown to the outside. Both drivers in the top five of the point standings. We get set to go. Eight trips around Nobles County here. Green in 32 and Brown in 11. Pace in the front row. Ready to come to green. Here we go. Straight away, Derek Green in 32, Jesse Brown in 11. They'll run side by side. Brown going to try to take that lead. He's also got the left front hiked up. He will lead left one in 11. Brown in the 11 will show the way they're side by side behind him. Steve Jackson taking a look to the inside as Jesse Brown's really got that left front hiked up just like Zevenbergen did in the opening heat race. There goes Jackson. Jackson down to the bottom of the 32 of Green. He'll take that second spot away. The Polk City, Iowa racer on the move. Here comes Jackson again in two. Steve Jackson down to the bottom of the racetrack into 2J. Jesse Brown still leads up front, though, in 11. Brown in 11. Jackson in two. And Green in 32. Run straight away, side by side for the race lead. Steve Jackson looking to overhaul the element car. Brown 
continues to lead that time by the start finish line. Steve Jackson with a run down to the inside. You've got a new race leader. It's Jackson. Steve Jackson in 2J will take that lead on the back straight away. Jackson now. He'll take the lead. He'll officially lead this time by the start finish line in 2J. now for the third spot down the back straight away Derek Green trying to hold it as they run side by side here down to the start finish line with two to go for Steve Jackson in two Rich Gregwire trying to take that third spot away from the 32 of Derek Green he's got it Gregwire and 32X will take that spot white flag will be in the air this time by one more trip around for Jackson and 2J One more time, down the back straight away, heat race number two here in the Holly Stock Cars. And at turn three, out of turn four, Steve Jackson will win heat race number two in 2J. So heat race number two, a good one in the stock cars. Third will go to the 32X of Rich Gregoire. Second will go to the 11 car of Jesse Brown. And picking up the win, he's out of Polk City, Iowa. Let's let him hear it. Steve Jackson wins heat race number two. In Watertown, South Dakota, the next three events for the hunt for the Casey's Cup, powered by SNS Fishing and Rental. We're back in action Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of next weekend as well. The weary road warriors of the USMTS don't get a break here for a couple of weeks. Caution lights go down. Brandon Murphy ready to lead us down to the green this time by eight trips around in 18A. each other into turn number one. Mitch Hubden will take that race lead in the 15 car. It will show the way. Here it'll be Hubden up front in 15. Mitch Hubden in 15 showing the way down the back straight away. Good battle for the second spot now. Keep your eye on the 1H and the 14 as they do battle behind your race leaders here. Staley now taking a look down to the inside of the 1H of Hango and they're going to run side by side. Staley going to try to take that third spot away in the 14. He's got it. Todd Staley now to the third spot in 14. Let's see if he can run down your race leader. So far it's been Mitch Hubden. Hubden in the 15 car continues to show the way. He's got heavy challenges from behind. The 5 car of Larson. Dustin Larson taking a look down to the inside of the five car. It's Hubden, Larson, Staley. Top three spots as we race our way down the back straight away here. Off turn number four continues to be Mitch Hubden in 15. Hubden still your leader. Larson with a run to the bottom. Mitch Hubden one more time will hold him off down the back straight away. Great one going up with the lead. Staley trying to creep in. Make it a three car battle for the lead. Down the back straight away off turn four. There goes Larson with a run to the bottom again. They're side by side. Oh, a good run here in stock car heat race number three. Oh, heads up, Mitch Hubden. Up and off the ground there for a moment. We'll keep racing. Everybody's racing. The caution may have to come out as we've got a crash in turn number one. Oh, boy, craziness in turn number one here. Mitch Hubden had all four wheels off the ground there for a moment. Good piece of driving. He came back down on all fours. The 5L of Larson got out of the way at the last possible second. He avoided a catastrophe back there as well. Todd Staley took the lead. So Mitch Hubman back to the lead in that 15 car, ready to bring us back down to the green flag, this time by in stock car heat race number three. Once again, Mitch Hubman will go back to the lead here in 15. Todd Staley will go to that second spot on the 14 car, the five car trying to come from the tail, keep an eye on him, white flag out, one to go. Mitch Hubden in 15, trying to hold off Staley and company. They're three wide. That's for the fourth spot down the back. 
straight away. We'll get set to come to the checker. Mitch Hubden looks like he's going to try to lead this whole thing. He will up to number four, and he'll win it in 15. Well, that'll do it. Looks like the 18A of Brandon Murphy will come home third. Second spot will go to the 14 of Todd Staley. And picking up the win, he's out of Decorah, Iowa. Give him a hand. Mitch Hubden wins heat race number three in 15. Jackson in five. 17 starter will be John DeBoer at a Little Rock in the 16J. And Tom Hagdorn out of Royal Iowa in 1H. Spencer Callis will start 19th in the 20K out of Laverne. And Colby Clawson will go to the outside out of Little Rock in 34K. Final starter in this one will be Nick Johansson out of Tyler in the 12X, scheduled for 21 cars. All 21 cars are there. It's a 20 lap event as we're ready to come to green for the 11 of Jesse Brown. shoot already. Trouble on the back straight away. Let's see who leads the opening lap. It will be the 11. Jesse Brown at 11 will show the way and the start finish line. Steve Jackson is off the pace. Your point leader Steve Jackson in trouble. Trouble for your Holly Stock Car Series point leader, Steve Jackson. Jackson will roll that car to the pit area. We'll see if he has a flat tire and maybe he makes repairs and comes back out. Also lost Gary Madison in that 69M onto the infield as well. Good battle here early. Zach Oliver in 71 and Jesse Brown in 11. For that 311, if your ticket number is 311, come on up. Otherwise, I'm going to call another ticket number here in a minute. Olivier will take us back to green. We've got the caution lights out. Olivier will go back to the lead, this time by in 71. Keep an eye on Steve Jackson here on the back of the field. Heads up on the back shoot. They're going to go three wide. Uh, Zevenbergen going to roll around the outside. Oh, and Elijah Zevenbergen off the pace. 71 car, 66 car with trouble now. Sevenbergen will head pit side. The caution is out. We've got another one around. It's the seven up to Bear as well. All sorts of trouble on the back straightaway. Three or four guys got together. We're going to lose Todd Staley in the 14 as he goes pit side. We lost Elijah Sevenbergen in the 66 as well. Thank you for coming out on this uh, Thursday night. Here we go. Olivier will go back to the lead in your Holly stock car. Amen. Once again, Olivier will take us back to the lead in a 71. Our door to door behind him. Good battle here, side by side. The front straight away, Mitch Hubbard will take that second spot in 15. Hubbard now going to take a look to the lead. They're going to get three wide. After the third spot down the back, straight away to 5 hill of Dustin Larson. Trying to thread the needle. He's rolling his way towards the front. He is up to third and five. Good battle here at the front of the field. Olivier in 71, Hubden in 15, and Larson in 5. Three-car battle for the lead down the front straight away. Larson can have run the needle and go by the 15 of Hubden. He'll run side by side now with a 71. You may have a new leader. Down the back straight away, the five-car of Dustin Larson has a race to the lead. He'll lead to the line in 5. Justin Larson, now your leader in five. Let's see if anybody can run him down. That's some trouble here in turn.
turn number one, a couple different cars off the pace. As a flat tire on one of them down the back straightaway, but down the front shoot, Larson still leads in 5L. Yeah, one car off the pace on the back straightaway, trying to limp his way to the pit area, but the yellow blinked on. Dustin Larson, your race leader. And the 5L, he raced from his 11th starting spot to the race lead here in the 5. It'll be Larson, then it'll be Olivier, then it'll be Hubden, then it'll be the 32 of Derek Green. How about Green? Here in the Holly Stock Cars. Your Holly Stock Car A Main once again a Larson back after it in five. Side by side with the second spot now the 32 again Derek Green. Taking a look now to the bottom. Oh, and your race leader almost got upside down. Trouble. Down the front straight away Larson in five. The lead in 32. Now side by side. Oh, contact for the lead. Jesse Brown, heads up, they're going to go three wide, Larson never lifted, back to the lead in five. Larson in five and Green in 32, banging off each other here for the lead. Down the front straight away, this stock car a main, very entertaining so far. Justin Larson in 5, Derek Green in 32, Jesse Brown in 11, white flag in the air one more time around. Down the back straight away, we'll get set to wrap up your Holly Stock Car Iron Man main event, your winner, Justin Larson in 5. Checkered flag in the air, fifth in that one. We'll go to the five of uh, Luke Sadoff. Fourteen will go fourth. We'll go to the 18A of Brandon Murphy. Third will go to the 11 of Jesse Brown. How about from 15th to second, Derek Green in 32. And picking up a wildly entertaining Holly Stock Car A-Main victory from 11th. Give him a hand, Dustin.
Larson in five.